A very good evening to all of the Toastmasters and my esteemed guests. Good evening. Day before yesterday, India was able to lift the ICC, ICC World Cup after 11 long years and today we are here to witness an historic moment in our club. But then, till then we'll have to wait. Let us start off with the business session. The first update is that uh, next week on 8th of July, we shall be having the installation ceremony where the newly elected officers for the term July to December 2024, they will take their charge. Uh, next update is uh, from uh, Udhanka Sai, over to you. Uh, thank you, President. We have an award for the club that is the Membership Marvel. The criteria was to win two Membership Building Awards from Toastmaster International and we have out of the three awards. Fortunately, we have won all the three and we have achieved the Membership Marvel. Kudos to the club and the, gift, the prize is on the way. We'll give it to you once the club has visited. Thank you. Thank you, Didier. Thank you, Didier Mudankar. Now the sergeant can take over. Good evening, one and all. Good evening. Good evening. I welcome you all to the uh, meeting number 1270 with the theme Why So Serious? Few years back, I was sitting in a park reading a book. I could see a very private conversation. See here a private conversation between a mother and a kid. And the conversation goes as follows. The kid was talking to his mother and pouring his heart out that he wanted to secure first prize, but he got a second prize and he missed it just by one mark. So the mother is trying to make the child understand that why are you getting so serious? It's just a kind, it's just it's a matter of one mark. This year you got a second rank. Next year get I am for the one more higher mark and get the first rank. I felt so good when I heard that conversation. Because today what we see in this generation is parents are pushing their kids to get that first place. The amount of pressure we are having on the kids to get that first place. But this conversation, this is one line from the mother telling the kid, why are you so serious? Why don't you try the next time? Get one more mark extra, aim for a better one. But when we talk about certain things, I think there has to be something which has to be little serious. Now we talk about last year, uh, we all remember the water shortage what we had during this summer. And I am using this platform to just put my point over here that there are certain things we need to be really serious. Let it be our environment, let it be the water, our, uh, the people, the relations, whatever we maintain. We need to be a little serious about it and try to maintain and improve it. And there are certain places where this theme, why so serious, implies. And I would also use this particular platform to tell that everything can not be serious. We do not take, we shouldn't take our life so serious. We are given a chance. We have 365 days in a year. So we have 365 chances. We have 24 hours in a day. So we have 24 chances in a day. So utilize it. There are places where you have to be serious, the things, the opportunities where you have to be serious, please be serious. But where you think being serious is going to harm you very much. Don't be serious, but try overcoming it and see what is the right attitude you need to do. On this juncture, I would like to introduce a person uh, who is uh, doing his uh, MBA from Christ College and uh, who is uh, 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 passionate about badminton and cricket and what you could see in Edris. And we all are very happy that India could lift the World Cup after so many years. All of us were very proud on Saturday and that was a beautiful moment for all of us. So, uh, continuing with that and with his love for cricket, I would like to introduce our the president of Mekan Communication Club, Toastmaster Ojwal. Thank you, Toastmaster Lata, for such a warm introduction. A very good evening to all the fellow Toastmasters and my esteemed guests. I can see a couple of guests today. Can you please introduce about yourself and let us know how we got to know about our club? Good evening, Toastmasters. Uh, my name is Krishna Kumar. Um, I'm an ex Toastmaster member of Promecon. I was coming in 2017 and 18. And in two years I went to Vani. Uh, now I'm on a break, planning to join back in a couple of weeks. Thank you. I'm an active professional. Thank you, sir. Welcome to Hello, myself uh, Sai Chiran. Uh, I am studying in uh, BCom second year. 
How did you get in our dash lab? <laughs> Welcome to us. Thank you. Welcome to everyone. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Amudya. I just finished my second PU. So I wanted to try Toastmasters 1. I have family members in different clubs. So I wanted to try this one. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you everyone. It's a pleasure to have oh, yeah. one more guest. Yeah. Good evening, Bob. Uh, I'm Asif Sunil. Uh, one of my friends has to work different clubs and he suggested to be here. So, of course, it's one of the best clubs I've worked at. And the uh, profession uh, I'm working in IT for. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, can I have the minutes of the meeting read out by our acting secretary, Toastmaster Shiva? Here are the minutes of meeting number 1269, ended on the 24th of June 2024. The theme was Time to Lead, Word of the Week, Acumen. The business session started at 6.30 p.m. and was chaired by President Toastmaster Ujwal. In the business session, the following points were addressed. DTM Udanka announced that Toastmaster Apurva had received the Triple Crown Award for completing three educational levels. Uh, for district officers, two area directors were selected from Macon Communication Club. For the term July 2024 to June 2025, Toastmaster Sai Snehal Reddy for Area C1 and Toastmaster Gaurav Badri for Area C2. Vice President of Education Toastmaster Shiva Prasad announced that all speaking slots were reserved while all other roles were open. Interested members were asked to contact him for more information. The regular meeting started at 6.33 p.m. Sergeant Adams, Toastmaster Pavani started the meeting with an introduction about the theme and later handed over the charge to President Toastmaster Ujwal. The President opened the meeting, spoke on the theme and introduced the Master of Ceremonies, Toastmaster Shiva Prasad. The Master of Ceremonies spoke on the theme and introduced the following role takers for the day. Timer, Toastmaster Saket, Accounter, Toastmaster Avik, Grammarian, Toastmaster Vaishnavi and TP Evaluator, Toastmaster Chetu. Distinguished Toastmaster Jagdish Nagbushan conducted an educational session on leadership. The table topic session was conducted by Toastmaster Sharane and had 10 speakers in total. The general evaluation was conducted by Toastmaster Raja. The winners of the week were Best Table Topic Speakers, Toastmaster Vijay Upendra and Toastmaster Veerbhadrappa. Best Role Taker TAPG, Toastmaster Avik and Toastmaster Vaishnavi. And Best Role Taker MTG, Toastmaster Shiva Prasad. The Acting President, Toastmaster Shiva Prasad, closed the meeting at 8.25 pm, followed by the National. Thank you and over to the President. <laughs> Master Shiva, are there any amendments in the MOM? If not, I shall consider it as accepted and open meeting number 1270. We often find ourselves caught up in the seriousness of our life, don't we? We focus on our work, we focus on our work and uh, these responsibilities and goals, thereby completely forgetting about having joy along the way, right? I still remember the day before my Samshrutha exam during my 10th standard, where due to this effect of turning point set by my great relatives, even though I had completely prepared for this particular exam, that day, at that night, everything just got erased from my memory and I literally didn't know what to do. I was so disappointed and I had thought that would be my last day and oof, I, 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 I just can't even imagine about it. Fast forward two years, now I had become punter in writing these public exams. But then here comes one more hurdle where as most of you uh, have, in our, in our gang we used to have one friend where just before the exam, that particular person is to come and then ask questions which was completely out of the textbook. 
and it was none other than our Toastmaster Sharane, where rather than getting herself tense, she used to make all of us even more tense. <laughs> <laughs> then coming to my CA days, where I would say, if I just turn back, I think those days will never come back again because the amount of dedication and effort I, I had put uh, for this particular course was just impeccable because I just had only one thing in my mind, just to focus on my CA and complete and crack that particular course. But even after so much of dedication, I was not able to crack even the first level of uh, CA. One thing which I realized from all these three uh, scenarios was that when you take life so seriously, it can definitely hurdle your success and that that, that's the exactly what happened to me during that moment. And I think this is where we can learn so much things from children because have you ever seen how, uh, how kids play? Because uh, it might be anything, they, they might be uh, building some blocks or anything for that matter. They will be completely focused, along with it, they will be enjoying throughout the game. They will be serious in the game, along with it, they are enjoying the process. But as we grow older, we tend to lose this balance, where we tend to focus only on the task, not enjoying, not enjoying the process uh, thoroughly. And what I would say is, life is full of challenges, so why so serious? Laugh. Laugh more, smile often, take some moment to appreciate those little things. And at the last, let's be serious on our goals. But then at the same time, let's embrace the journey, let's enjoy throughout the throughout the process. And I think with this, uh, it's a time to hear it from a triple crown winner. She is a BCom and interior design graduate from SBM JC. She loves playing badminton, basketball, table tennis and cricket. She feels that a day without a workout is a day completely wasted for her. An adventurous enthusiast who always loved to go on trekking and loves, play, loves to play adventurous sports. So without any further ado, let's welcome the Master of Ceremonies for the day, Toastmaster Apurva Bajaj Thakdasana. for this lovely introduction. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests. <coughs> if you meet any of my school or college friends, they will tell, tell you about a different, total different version of me. Back then, I was this person who, was, who used to get easily annoyed on silly or small things. Small things like, say, my friend used a pencil or a pen of mine without asking my permission. I used to get very, very annoyed. And my friends would go, over oh, such small things, Apurva, why so serious? I was also this person who always anticipated to win and excel at everything I do. Be it sports, education, dance, or anything painting, anything at all. And people around me constantly would say, Hapurva, relax, why so serious? Fast forward today, the older version of me wonders, people were right, why was I so serious? Why did I stress about such small things? Or maybe at that point of time, those small things were not small and it was very important or big for me. Beat the, fight or the, beat the fight over the captaincy of my basketball team or beat to score the highest marks in each and every exam or a test. But does it matter today? Not at all, right? Now I feel I should have just enjoyed the process and focused on enjoying the moment instead of stressing about it. Easier said than done. 
बिकॉज एवरी टाइम आई एम बिहाइंड द लेक्टर इवन टूडे आई स्टिल गेट टेंस्ड एंड गेट स्ट्रेस अबाउट द रोल आई एम टेकिंग मे बी दैट्स वाई टू हेल्प पीपल लाइक मी एंड अदर्स हु आर सीरियस अबाउट पब्लिक स्पीकिंग राज सी स्मेडली इन द इयर नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी फोर started Toastmasters International at Santa Ana California Today Toastmasters has grown into a global network with over 270000 plus members across 148 countries with over 14200 plus member clubs and one such prestigious club is our Mekon Communication Club which was founded in the year 1998 A, a typical toastmaster meeting takes place in three sessions let me tell you this we are very very serious about firstly is the prepared speech session where the speaker is prepared well in advance based on the project guidelines and comes behind the lectern and gives prepared speeches which is evaluated later during the meeting next comes the table topic session where the speakers are chosen randomly on the spot given a topic on the spot and are expected to speak for 1 to 2 minutes finally comes the general evaluation session where the the entire proceedings of the meeting are evaluated today in the interest of time just only for today i won't be introducing all the taxi role takers however they will directly uh, give their report during the general evaluation for today the uh, parliamentary procedure evaluator is toastmaster nagendra the a counter is toastmaster jia the timer is toastmaster gajendra and the grammarian is toastmaster sakshi now i request the grammarian toastmaster sakshi to introduce the word of the day its meaning and usage and dear guests the word of today is anticipate meaning is regard as probable expect or predict usage the members eagerly anticipated a fitting finale at the last meeting of the team so over to you toastmasters thank you toastmasters let's quickly jump into the first session of the day the prepared speech session before i introduce the first speaker i request the individual evaluator toastmaster shiva to read out the project guidelines thank you toastmaster apurva uh, the project is an ice breaker speech level 1 project 1 the purpose of this project is for the member to introduce himself or herself to the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech Notes for the evaluator: the member is completing his or her first speech in Toastmasters. The goal of the evaluation is to give the member an effective evaluation of his or her speech and delivery style. Because the icebreaker is the first project a member completes, you may choose to use only the notes section and not the numerical score. Uh, the duration of the speech is four to six minutes. Uh, all the best to the speaker. Back to the master of ceremonies. Thank you, Toastmaster Shiva. Since it's the icebreaker speech, I will let uh, the Toastmaster to introduce herself to the club. Attempting level one, project one, presentation mastery, giving a icebreaker speech. Please welcome with a huge round of applause, Toastmaster Rachna. flitted through my head i was overwhelmed i didn't know where to start instead i tried to do something easy i set myself two goals for this speech a to be mentioned in today's our counter report as flawless <laughs> b to finish well within the time so that i am eligible for the ribbon easy things right 
eventually my brain fog dissipated and I got started with my speech. Good evening, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Um, I'm going to start at the beginning and one thing I remember about distinctly about growing up in Bangalore was scouring the city's libraries for books. I was an avid reader and one book in particular that I was that I had a huge craze about was Harry Potter. Um, any 90s kids here who, who remembers Harry Potter? Yeah. <laughs> so I was that kid who would wait in line for the releases to drop and once they did, I'd read them as fast as possible. I even went so far as to take the fifth book to school one day and the fifth book is a monster of a book. It's like this big, 700 pages, so you can tell I was committed to this. Now, from Harry Potter and the other books that I read, grew my love of stories and adventure. I was that kid who was always dreaming about flying on broomsticks or dragons or visiting magical trees in faraway lands. But I soon came back to Earth and realized I had to find ways to have fun here. One way I discovered was adventure camps. My parents were amazingly supportive and they let me attend a series of them. Now, these adventure camps are basically ones where you camp out uh, sleep over and during the day they let you do fun things like kayaking, rafting, rock climbing. Now no uh, no adventure story is complete without, without its fair share of mishaps. I'm sure you'll all agree. I remember the first time I kayaked. I fell out of the boat. And here's the thing, I fell out of the boat while trying to climb into the boat. This was the first time I was kayaking. I put one leg in, I put the other, and I just toppled over the other side. But I soon got up, I shook it off, <clears throat> and thankfully this clumsy beginning did not deter me from kayaking in the future. Plus, it gave me a great story to tell you guys today. Since then, I have never stopped looking for adventures to fall into and stories to collect in my life. One adventure that I was lucky and fortunate enough to go on was to live in New York City for my master's degree after my engineering. I had always dreamed about New York and I'd read about it in books and seen it in movies, but I never thought I'd live there. And I had all these fantasies about walking down Manhattan, shopping and eating in fancy, fancy restaurants. But I soon came back to reality. I think the first year, the only fancy dining I did was eating like one inch thick chapatis and bland pulao. And I wanted to fire the chef, but I couldn't because the chef was me. And <laughs> this, <laughs> this was the first time I was cooking in my life. <coughs> Eventually, I got, uh, my cooking got better and I found my footing in this city with the help of a few friends. After, after, um, after graduating, I moved to Boston. Now, this attitude of seeking the unfamiliar really helped me through the first couple of years in Boston. I had gone there for my first job. I didn't know anyone, and, um, and I was new in the city. And so this attitude really gave me the confidence to take up new things at work, uh, things like taking up leadership positions and projects, or outside, um, things like Taekwondo or sailing. All these experiences gave me um, A, some of the closest friends in my life, B, a lot of falls and bruises, and C, a treasure trove of anecdotes that I think make for great content for Toastmaster speeches. Now, in February, I decided to join Toastmasters for a couple of reasons. I, what I, my first thought was that, you know, coming up to this podium and talking to a large number of people in this room sounds exciting and terrifying in equal measure. And I thought, that sounds like an adventure. In B, I really want to improve my confidence in speaking to a large group of people. A couple of years, I realized when I was presenting some papers at conferences that for a talk to really hit home, the content is important, but so is the way you deliver it. So I'm looking forward to improving my speaking and my confidence on this journey. I anticipate an exciting and insightful journey at Toastmasters. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Ritsuna. Why so serious? <laughs> now, let's quickly jump into the most fun session of the evening. 
it's the table topic session. Today's table topic master <coughs> is a graduate from PGI. He's a CA aspirant who loves to listen music, go on treks, and enjoys running. Let's hear it for Toastmaster Saket. Toastmasters and welcome guests. Good evening. I'm your table topic master for today's meeting. I love watching movies and I feel that's the only form of exercise where I can increase my attention spam for three hours. <laughs> Growing up as a kid watching movie in cable TV, I learned three things. Control, productivity and patience. When I sit down to watch a movie on cable TV, and I know there's an interesting scene that's going to come up and I'm all excited for it. And suddenly, a commercial break comes up. It's frustrating because it breaks the flow and the excitement that has captured my attention. And the urge to lift the, lift, uh, the TV and throw it on the ground. Or punch it on the face. But I control myself. Because I know how much my parents value me. <laughs> yes, less than the TV, of course. In the two to three minutes of commercial break, the amount of things that can be done, from refilling snacks to filling up water bottles, taking the meal from kitchen to hall, and using the washroom and whatnot, I learned how to be productive. And finally, after watching the entire movie with commercial breaks in between, I learned how to be patient. So, for the benefit of guests, a typical table topic session is where a table topic master comes and gives the topic and chooses a random person. And they have to come and talk for a minute or two. So, in today's table topic session, I will give a movie quote and you have to come here and talk about it. And I request everyone to avoid talking about sex, religion and politics. And I request everyone to be, be, to be very attentive. So, the first topic With great power comes great responsibility <laughs> From Spider-Man <laughs> Describe a time when you had to step up and take responsibility And this topic goes to Sindhu <laughs> Take a thing at your at the face value, it is what it is. 
then a lot of his responsibilities become very, very simple tasks. So the great power that we mentioned also becomes a daily task. So it doesn't have to be a very serious responsibility. It can be a just fun ride along the way. Thank you and uh, bye. <laughs>
This was, I think, uh, around eight months ago when I became the president. And I went out and told, you know what, boss? I know I'm becoming the president. I know I've been the president two times, but that was in CMS around 10 years ago, and I have no idea what I'm going to be doing now. And that's when I didn't say I am Groot, but the entire team told we are Groots. They all came forward, they told you know what, the president's job is to see to that, you get the job done. And do you know what Mr. President, we all get our job done. So what I'm going to say with this particular anecdote of mine is, you don't really have to be the Groot all the time. Sometimes find yourself in situations where there are Groots. Because everybody wants to be the group. Everybody wants to be the action hero. Everybody wants to be the main character. But we have finally entered a space where you have to create a bunch of main characters. And that's what, that's what makes you the group. By making others the group. Till the day you keep fighting for being the group. You are not the Groot. In fact, you are not even the root. <laughs> right? On that note, let's keep making Groots and let's keep working with Groots. And don't worry, you will, you will be called the Groot as well. I mean, some good guy will come, he will give you a false appreciation. You will feel good about yourself, you will feel like the king, you will feel like you are on top of the world. Yes? As long as it's the 3 lakh check, that's a genuine appreciation. <laughs> last topic and uh, I had a wonderful time you know conducting this session and now back to the MC after that after that so after an entertaining uh, table topic session it's time for a quick 10 minute networking break see you on the other side <laughs> <laughs> It's time to be very, very serious. It's time for the general evaluation session, which is the most important part, important part of the meeting. Today's general evaluator is a BCom graduate, uh, graduate from Jain University. He's currently pursuing a CA. He recently stepped into the role of area director of Toastmaster Area C1. With a huge round of applause, please welcome Toastmaster Sai Snedan. Good evening fellow Toastmasters and guests. I've been threatened, warned and uh, <laughs> to finish the general evaluation within 10 minutes. So I'll just quickly get started. The meeting started at 6.25 p.m. today. Uh, we had a lot of discussion, so hence the delay of 10 minutes and it's totally fine today. The business session was chaired by Toastmaster Ujwal and we had two important updates. One is that the installation ceremony will be held on the 8th of July. Also another important addition to that information, it will be held on the first floor of the very building. Next, we had a membership Marvel Award that was given to our club from Toastmasters International and District 121. So, these are the only two updates from the business session. <coughs> Next, we had the Sergeant at Arm Toastmaster Lata. I've seen Toastmaster Lata for the past six months behind the lectern for almost 20 times. And every time I've seen her, she had that urgency to finish and give the lectern back to the president. But today, for the very first time, I felt really nice looking at that address. It was calm, composed and confident. You were not just asking the audience something, but today you were telling the audience something. You had that command and you had that composure as well. And in addition to that, the way you incorporated the introduction of the president was truly outstanding. For the job that she's done extremely well for the last six months, and for the job she will do for the next six months as a member of our club, can we please give a huge round of applause for Toastmaster Lata? <laughs> Next, we had the president, Toastmaster Ujwal. He's had a very tough time in the last six months. He tried to manage his college, presidency, and a lot of other things during this last six months. But one thing that I can really tell you is he tried really hard. He never gave up. 
no matter what it is or what the situation was he knew tell me how can i help you or let me know what am i supposed to do with the exact response that he used to tell or ask any of the team members letting them know that he is there even if he is not there this is the thing of a good leader that making sure that is there not just from the front but also at the back trying to push people if they need some kind of a support today your address was something that i truly love you had that exact meaning of why so serious put across in your entire address and you made that impact to everybody sitting here in the audience and to say the last 6 months he deserves a double thunderous round of applause <laughs> thank you dr mashu jewel all the best for all your uh, future endeavors and hope you come more regularly now <laughs> All right. Next up, we had the tab G roles. Uh, although they were not introduced initially, that's a good move that it was done today because in the flexibility is something that I really like. And knowing today's current situation, it was a good thing. But I'll just quickly get them to give the reports. I'll start off with the grammarian Toshmaz Sakshi. Maybe you can just read it out from there. It's all right. introducing the role of grammarian i have noted down the words uh, which was used today that is anticipate so toastmaster sapurva uh, used the word first uh, once and toastmaster rachna used the word anticipate twice and i have noted down few words which i found uh, a little different from what we used in a regular day uh, use <coughs> Become plump, become punter. Easier said than done. Actuary, top of the world. Gardens of galaxy. Action speak louder than words. Full house. Scoring libraries. Monster of a book. Fair share of mishaps. Treasure throne of anecdotes. So back to you, Toastmasters. Thank you. I haven't forgotten that I should call the tab G after evaluation. It's just that I'm trying to save some time. Next up, can I have the PPA director, Toastmaster Nagendra? Good evening to all the fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests. So I'm Nagendra, the parliamentary procedure evaluator for the So I observed four things. All four of them were in silent mode except two, which is the entry and exit happened only during an applause. There was no crosstalk, and no one behind the lectern spoke about sex, politics, and religion. Thank you. Thank you. Can I ask the Arts Minister Toshmaster Jia to give the report? Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests. Uh, my name is Jia, and I'm the Arts Minister for today's meeting. I anticipated this meeting to be filled with very fewer filler words, and let's see how we did today. Those masters Bujwal uh, used four times R and repeated words twice, pauses twice. And Apurva, you those masters Apurva used R once and repeated words twice, pauses once. Those masters Rachna R three times. And repeated words twice, pauses once. And Saket, uh, Toastmaster Saket used R once. So thank you, that was me. So these three role takers, tab three role takers, they're fairly new to the club, but they extremely exactly know what exactly they're supposed to do to that role. And today they've done it exceptionally well. They were aware of the fact that today is an important day for our club, and they. Stuck to the fact that they should not waste any time of the audience and did their job. For that, can we have an extra round of applause? For I'll come back to the timer a little later. Before that, can I request the <laughs> can I request Toshmash Shiva to give out the evaluation? Pocket full of speeches was pocket full of tales was the title of her speech. But I'll tell you what, I'm sure she has a lot more than that to offer to us. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests. All of us were witness to an incredible speech from one of our newer members, Toastmaster Rachana, this evening. 
It started off with how, where, where she did really well and then well move on to where she could have improved the speech. Uh, point number one, humor. Humor seems to come naturally to Toastmaster Rachana. She started off right away looking at the entire crowd, you know, a first time speaker. She said there's a lot of new faces here. Uh, I mean, the room is a full house. Impromptu humor. Something that you would expect from uh, a distinguished speaker, someone who's been speaking for a long time, but an icebreaker speak, uh, speech found the comfort to come here and just say that. So that was amazing. There was relevant humor. She came here and said, I want to you know, not have any hours today. I you know, don't want to exceed the time this evening. I'll come back to that. And uh, basically the humor is one of your sharpest skills is what I've noticed. And it will be a very strong weapon moving forward in your future speeches. Uh, moving on to the second point, the eye contact. It was amazing. For a first time speaker, you looked around, glanced through the entire room. I'm sure nobody felt less left out uh, from your eye contact. And the third point, the most important point, was the content. Uh, you said you love Harry Potter. You said you described so many things. The fantasies that you had in your childhood, the fantasies that you had about New York, and that strong ability to go around and describe stuff that has happened in your life you know uh, uh, maybe a therapist would appreciate that right that you have that such strong an ability to describe things in your life and that is one of a uh, hallmark quality of a great speaker so i lo really love that in your speech come to where it could have been improved in a, in an icebreaker we expect a few things about your family as well family and your profession as well maybe there was one line about your profession a bit more about your family and it would be fine and finally, the second most important point for improvement, uh, it seemed like you were giving your speech as if your neighbors were asleep in the nearby house, whereas you're in this room on the sixth floor where, uh, you know, a lot of people can hear you, right? So moving on, in order to grab the attention of the audience, maybe if you deliver it a bit more louder, it can do wonders with all that content that you have. And finally, to conclude, Rajna, I wish you knew you were the only speaker today. <laughs> I wish you knew you are already the best speaker for today. <laughs> and not just for today, you will be the best speaker for many meetings to come. With that, back to the general. Thank you, Rajna. Thank you, Dr. Shiva, for that crisp, clear, and comforting evaluation, I would say, to the icebreaker. It was really interesting to see how he had all the points that he needed for an icebreaker mentioned in his evaluation. He focused on the fact that there was not much information about her family, and also the fact that she, the way she opened up telling, this is what I'm looking forward to do today. And the fact that he reiterated in the evaluation makes it clear that she's okay to do whatever she wants to do as long as she knows what she's doing. And she did exactly that. And Toastmaster Shiva, he's been doing a really nice evaluation these days. And for that extra, can we have a round of applause? Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'll come back to the taffy roll taker, Toastmaster Shiva. <laughs> <Kajinda. laughs> Fellow toastmasters and guests. Uh, the meeting commenced at 6:25 p.m. and the business session. The time allotted was three minutes and it took one minute 25 seconds. The welcome by Sergeant Tom. Time allotted was two minutes. It took three minutes 18 seconds. The president address was five minutes. It took six minutes. Introduction of the toastmasters of the evening was one minute. It took 37 seconds. And report on previous meeting was two minutes. It took one minute 48 seconds. Uh, the Master of Ceremonies time allotted was 20 minutes, it took 7 minutes 30 seconds. Then there was only one speaker today, uh, Toastmaster Rachana. The time allotted was 4 to 6 minutes, she took 5 minutes 3 seconds. And the evaluator, uh, Toastmaster Shiva, took 2 minutes 40 seconds. The break time was 14 minutes <coughs> today. And uh, the table topics, uh, people have written that. Then the general evaluator has taken about Eight minutes till now and complete. I just need a ribbon for that eight minutes that I just took so far. Anyways, coming to the next section that was the table topic uh, session that was conducted by Toastmaster Shakir. He had a lot of topics prepared today. He came to me asking, I have 12 brilliant topics today and I'm looking forward for that wonderful session. Unfortunately, he was asked to cut down today, considering the best interest of time. But I must say, for those five topics that he gave to all the members, to the members here today, were exceptionally good. He picked up a dialogue, he had an explanation, and asked, and gave the topic to someone, 
who knew that they were given already. In fact, they knew that they were going to speak. It was that clear that the speakers that he chose were something he picked personally. It was not given to him as a list that, okay, these are speakers that need to be given. That's something really I like. In the uh, section, in the session where he was briefing about the table topic session, I like the fact that he told about control, productivity, and patience. That's uh, the three categories, uh, characteristics you need as speaking for a table topic session. And this is something that I like and the way he brought it out. I just want to take a second to note, uh, mention here that he explained the role of the PP evaluator as well because it was not done to make members aware that this is something you should not speak. That's something that I really liked about. Today you had the best table topic session I've seen in a long time. You had the proper transitions, proper topics and everything. For that effort, can we have a round of applause? For you? And the one who sits the entire show together, the master of ceremonies. I've been seeing Toshma Shaput for the last six months, and she's been an exceptional sergeant, and also she's taken up multiple roles in the club. She has an urge to take up roles, not just to compete or do anything, but the fact that she wants to truly grow and learn. Today, I've seen you not stutter, not worry, not be nervous, but you were confident, calm, and you knew that you had to speak this. And for the number of times you have taken MC, today you did not refer to the script at all. You knew what you had to speak, but it was your story. You still don't have to be serious in a smile. <laughs> <laughs> and what I liked is the fact that the transition of her address to Toastmaster International Mission was something smooth that I have seen in a while. The way she brought it out made it unexpected for a lot of us and brought out, oh, this is a nice way to bring it out. That's something that was there in her address today. <laughs> On all in all, it was brilliant. You had nice transitions, nice introductions and everything. One thing I just want to mention is when we usually introduce an icebreaker speaker, we normally stick to the fact of <coughs> let the speaker introduce themselves. This was actually a practice started by one person when they forgot to ask the icebreaker speaker as an introduction. <laughs> so they stuck to the fact that let them introduce. Maybe you can just give in one sentence that you know, this is not just for Apurva but anybody introducing an icebreaker speaker. Just give in one sentence so they'll know who's coming here to speak behind the lectern. That's all. Apart from that, a job well done, brought the meeting all together, nice introductions, nice presence on the stage. For that, can we have a huge round of applause? Alright, with that I come to the end of today's session. I hope I haven't missed anybody. I, I know I've rushed a lot today. I wanted to give in a lot more feedback. Maybe I'll take up general evaluation some other time and give a very long detailed session. But until then, I hope you have enjoyed this session. And just a statement for the, that I want to give is, for the last six months, we have gone through a lot of transitions in our club. We have had a lot of new members join us. We have had a few members leave us as well. But something that I truly want to note and explain to all of you is that we as a club have survived and thrived for the last 25 years. And we'll still thrive for the times to come. It's only possible because of the executive committee who show up day in and day out, do their best, and that's what the, keeps the show going on. For that, and for that beautiful team that was led us during this year to Toastmaster Ujwal and team, can we please stand up and give a round of applause for them? <laughs> With that, I come to the end of my session. And I hand it back to the Marshal Sony Shopna Shapu. Thank you, Toastmaster Sai Snail. As we come to the end of session, I would like to remind each and everyone in the room not to take life too seriously. Let's worry less and smile more. On that note, thank you and over to the President, Toastmaster Ojo. What an amazing session it was. A uh, houseful meeting, I would say. Let us quickly jump into the winners. Uh, we have 35 in the meeting room. I've got only 14 responses right now. So please, support.
the process supporting them to go for the mobile process? That later we'll get to know. The ballots are in the board. It's the time to announce the winners of the week. The best road taker, MTG. It has been tied between Toastmaster Saket and Toastmaster Saisen. the best role taker tab G. It goes to our timer Toastmaster Gajendra. <laughs> Coming to the best uh, table topic speaker, it goes to our immediate past president Toastmaster Balaji. Evaluator, Toastmaster Shiva. <laughs> uh, with this, uh, 